if the West is against terrorism, then we should be against terrorism. Doesn't matter which country. Who is this guy? Hello? I built the house. How you built the house? How do so how do I get on YouTube? What do you understand? You understand that I... Mute YouTube, mute YouTube. This is the same guy he called me before. He was angry. Agree? Who? Mute YouTube. No, I, I was never angry. I see it that... No, you called me before. You were very angry. I remember you. No? No, I never was angry. Okay, okay. Can you mute YouTube, please, so we cannot have two sounds? How long huh? this process? Mute YouTube. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I see why you're uh, not on the same page. And I think it's just... How do I end this? My Because my you're talking to somebody exit, exit YouTube. Exit YouTube. There's no need for YouTube for now. <clears throat> okay, now. All right, you are a Muslim, right? Yes, I'm Muslim. All right. So, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. No, I, I wanted you to, to, to uh, 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 talk to me. You know, tell me what's what? wrong with Islam. Islam is religion of terrorists. <laughs> Why are you are laughing? Did your prophet? Say, his, did your prophet say that he is a terrorist? No, my prophet didn't say he was a terrorist. Okay, well, you want to challenge me if I show you the reference? Uh, if you show me in the Quran, don't show me in no hadith. Oh, so the, so you want to show you what Allah said or what Muhammad said? Because the Quran is the word of Allah. Yes, yes, okay, Allah. So, so you don't want Muhammad words because Muhammad said he is a terrorist, correct? Uh, no, no, the, uh, the Quran. Oh, yeah, the Quran, I understand. But in order to show you what Muhammad said, then I have to show you what Muhammad said. The Quran is not what Muhammad, Muhammad said. Muhammad, Muhammad is saying what the Quran is saying. Okay, as long as Muhammad is saying what the Quran is saying, that means the Hadith is what Allah is saying too. No, that's not true. Okay, let me ask you. You are a person, you are a person who is a black. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, do you accept what the Quran say about the black people? I know what you're trying to say, but it's not saying black people. It doesn't say that. Do you speak Arabic? Uh, not really. So how you know it doesn't say black people? Because the, uh, even the English, uh, Yusuf Ali is a very good translator. Okay, Yusuf Ali is a good wait, translator. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Where are we at? Where are we at on YouTube? For, don't worry about YouTube right now. I can give you the verse and you can read it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm worried about YouTube. I don't just want to have this as an a individual a conversation with you. I want to be on YouTube. No, you are in YouTube. You have at least 2,000 people listening to you. Don't worry. Huh? You have 2,000 people listening to you. Uh, okay, but I want it on YouTube. Okay, I it's in YouTube. You. It's I in YouTube. You. It, it is in I, YouTube, I my friend. You, you to show me. I want you to show me on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to show you on YouTube. You want to show you the verses? Yes. All right, let us go to the verses together in YouTube. Here we go. This is your Quran making fun of you as a Muslim, saying that all those people... I can't see it. I don't see it. Just wait, just wait. And you can open the Quran, you know, from, yes. your, from your side. And I will open for you Yusuf Ali, because you said Yusuf Ali is a good translator, right? Right. All right. So this is chapter 3, verse number 106. Okay, I don't see it. Okay. Well, I see it. I don't know why I don't see it. Um, open, so I'm, 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 open, open, open the Quran. Don't you have the Quran? I'm, don't you yes, have I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Okay. But I don't see what you're saying. Okay, okay. Huh. This is Yusuf Ali translation. It says in that day Allah will make all the Muslims white and all non-Muslims black. So in the day of judgment, I will be black like you, and in the day of judgment, you will be white like me. And this is supposedly reward. So according to your religion, the one who is black is doomed. 
I don't see. I don't see uh, 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 where you uh, uh, where you add on YouTube. I don't see where you add. My friend, just open the Quran. You do not need YouTube. Just open I, the Quran. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not gonna do that. I want to see on YouTube. Okay, see it in YouTube. What I can do to you? Go open YouTube. Who's stopping you? I'm on YouTube. Where Where are you? I'm here in YouTube. I'm live. People, you know, didn't you just call me and my voice was coming back? Just okay. Tell me how to connect you on YouTube. Okay. Do you see my video? It says live. Why the Jews killed Prophet Muhammad? Do you see the video title? Uh, Why the Jews killed Prophet Muhammad? Let me let me find that. Yeah, search on YouTube why the Jews killed the Prophet Muhammad. And you will see it says life. Click in it and join me. Okay, why did Jews killed who? Why the Jews killed Prophet Muhammad? The title is of my video, Why the Jews Killed Prophet Muhammad. Who he is not a prophet anyway. You have not find it yet? Uh... No, I, I haven't. Hmm. So what we will do now? Type in Google, who killed Prophet Muhammad, and then click at videos. If I if I say who killed Prophet Muhammad, it's just going to show me the woman who poisoned him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do for you, my friend. Okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on. I have a solution. Just wait. Let me let me send you a link in Skype. All right. Yeah. And you click in it, and you will open it. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. I want you to be happy, my friend. Okay. Let us see. Uh, hold on. Open this link, I'm going Let to send me. you here. Let me share the link with you. There we go. All right. Look at the chat in Skype. You will see a link. Click at the link, you will be in YouTube. All right, you see it now? Okay, I see it on my uh, phone. All right. I don't see it. What I will do to you, well, you will see it too in your TV. Open YouTube. You said you want YouTube. Just mute YouTube so we don't have two voices. Okay, so now you have YouTube. Right? Um. I mean, I just gave you the link. Look at the link, man. to logic and a decisive takedown. Did you click at the link I gave you? History. Okay. Uh, did, um, did you click at the link I gave you? Yeah, but I have my phone. I wasn't. <laughs> okay, turn, okay, turn on accessible flare. Um, why the Jews kill Prophet Muhammad? Hamza is the answer. My friend, I gave you a link. I gave you a link in Skype. Click at the link. Just have patience. I'm trying to. Oh boy. <laughs> I gave him the link. Still, he cannot go. <laughs> well, this is who's going to go to the heaven of Allah. I mean, the Quran make fun of the black people. The Hadith make fun of the black people, and it's still black people believe in Allah. I mean, what kind of 
brain you have. And then they say to you that Islam is religion, anti-racism. Uh, when all of us, we knew that this is the religion of the KKK, the white supremacist Arab. And you will notice he mentioned to me not to mention what his prophet said. Do you see how much proud they are of their prophet? We have another Muslim, supposedly. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, my friend. You are a Muslim, you said? Yes, yes. All right, what do you want to say to us? Okay. So, uh, CP, uh, yesterday I was having a debate with Adam. I don't CP understand. Why? Are you using voice changer? Mm, yeah. Why? It is because, uh, look, I don't want anyone to know about I can't understand you. I can't understand the word. You, you have to turn off the voice changer. And if you don't have the guts... Can you hear me now? Can, yeah. you, can you hear me now? Okay, I hear you. Go ahead. Why are you using voice changer? Actually, if anyone knows about me that I'm debating with you, uh, I will be in a big problem. So, okay, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. That is it. Okay. So, uh, yesterday I was having a debate with Adam Seeker. You have what? Uh, so, uh, there is a guy named Adam Seeker. You might know him. Yeah, yeah, I know him. He left Islam because of me. Hi, hi, yeah, correct. Okay. So, uh, so yesterday I was having a debate with him. Yeah, you are um, you were debate you were you were debating him. Yes. About what? Yesterday. About the, about what? Uh, about the land of Palestine. Does it belong to Israelis or does it? Okay, the, to the land of Palestine. You are a Muslim. Yes. Yes. Can, uh, can you show I me? Can you show me the? That, can you show me the word Palestine in your book? Uh, uh, I get what you're trying to say, uh, CP. No, no, don't tell me. Don't uh, tell me. I know what you are trying to say. When you say Palestine, then you should know what is Palestine, me and you. So where do you get the word Palestine from? Uh, Adam, we were, just, we were having a discussion that... Stop talking about Adam, Muslim. focus with me. Where do you as a Muslim get the word Palestine from? Is it in your religion? No, it's not in Quran. Why it is not in your religion? Your God, he forgot about them? I... I don't think so that God forget about him. But, so why he did uh, not mention? Uh, okay, so uh, let me ask you then. Did your God, Allah, mention Jerusalem? I I, I don't know. Look, I, I don't have as much knowledge as you guys have. So you called uh, Adam Seeker to debate him, and you are a person who do not know. So you do not know, but you no, want to debate no, no. people. He was, doing his, he was doing a live stream like you. I know, I know, I know. But I'm trying to understand how smart no. you are because I asked you a very simple question and you do not know. So why you are calling people to debate if you yourself do not know what are you talking about? Okay. So uh, look, if we are talking about the land of Palestine or, the, or land of Israel, uh, you don't need to be a Muslim scholar to debate on that. Oh, okay. Can Guys, you do not need to be a Muslim scholar. You do not need to be a Muslim scholar to debate about that. Okay, but okay. So now let me ask you, did Allah promise the Muslim the land of Palestine or he promised the Jews? Uh, he promised to the children of Moses, I guess, if I remember it correctly. Or children of Moses? Anybody, right? He promised the children of Moses. Correct, correct. So at I that time, Moses, he had like, at that time, Moses, he had like 500,000 people, children, right? Uh, can you repeat what you just said? I was you said the children of Moses. How many? How many children yeah, Moses yeah, have? Yeah, the, the Jewish. People. You mean the Jews? Okay, the Jews. Okay. So Allah He promised the Jews, the Jews, the land of Palestine. So what's your problem? Hmm. Okay. So uh, look, while we were having a debate about it, and the land was actually much older than that. So I want to ask you this question, and then I will give my logic. According to you, when do you think Jerusalem was established? Don't speak fast, because already you have a bad accent. Same time, your voice is cutting. So, okay. in order so to according understand to you, you, don't speak do you so fast. When Jerusalem was founded? Huh? Uh, according to you, yeah. do you, when do you, when do you think Jerusalem was founded or established? When I believe Jerusalem was started? Not uh, not started, I'm saying established or founded, according to you. Long time ago, before Allah. 
I agree. But uh, any estimate of okay. okay. So you agree be body. before Allah, before Allah was Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So the existence of Jerusalem had nothing to do with Allah. Allah is a pagan God. We are not discussing about Islam, see, we are discussing No, we are debating. Everything, everything here we discuss is about Islam, my friend. I'm not here to do recycling business. You give me some uh, uh, empty cans and I make them uh, aluminum. You know, we are talking about Islam. This, this is not the title. You see, this is what my what I do. Christian Prince, this is what he do. My specialty is Islam. I grab Muhammad from his tail. I show everybody it is a monkey. So can you prove me wrong or you are calling me just to waste my time? No, no. Uh, actually, my logic wasn't about... What do you mean um, logic? You are a Muslim. Since when Muslim, they have a logic. You believe that Allah will give you endless penis. The vagina will fit for that. You will have endless number of women to F them. Their legs is up and they can see the marrow of their bones. And then you are talking about logic? Look, see, I'm, I'm being... Dead. I cannot so look, my friend. I, I cannot look. What are you look? You, talk, you are talking about logic. You Muslims believe that Suleiman, he have a flying carpet, can carry an army the length of it is 3,500 3, miles. And you are telling me my logic? You Muslims have logic? Since when? Look, I came across Adam's video yesterday and I'm discovering a lot more about Islam. I didn't have enough knowledge. So maybe I can just treat it this as a session. Maybe you can. Okay, why you don't call your sheikh? Why you don't call your sheikh? Instead of keep saying to me, I do not have knowledge and I don't have knowledge, call your sheikh. Like, that's his joy. I say, he's welcome, you know. Who, choose the best you have. What do you think? No, I. Uh... I, I don't know, I, I have watched some of Zakir Naik's videos. But you, you have what? Uh, so there's this guy, I, I don't know if you know him. His name is Zakir Naik. I've watched some of his Zakir Naik is your friend. Call him right now. No, no, he, I'm saying that I have watched his videos. Uh, oh, you so watch his videos. Okay, by the way, is Zakir Naik circumcised? Uh, I don't know. But do I you know? know? But is it a must for every Muslim to be circumcised? I, I guess, yes. So why Muhammad never be circumcised? Uh, can you can you show me this? Uh, well, I cannot show you his penis. What are you talking about, man? Behave yourself. What do you mean, show me? You're a prophet. Never, <laughs> never, no. never circumcise. You, if you want to show me that he was, well, show me. Nowhere. Muhammad not even nowhere mentioned that Muhammad ever been circumcised. The guy is 40 years old and now he announced himself to be a prophet. And then he decided to copy some of the Jews scriptures. And now he told his followers to do circumcision. Yet Muhammad himself never circumcised. According to your prophet, Abraham, maybe because he was old, he didn't want to do circumcised. What do you think? Is that the reason? Because he was old, he's like over 40, and he didn't want to like hurt his penis. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, but according to your prophet, Abraham was 80 years old when he cut his penis. He cut six, he cut six foot of it. This is the hadith in front of me. It says, Allah Apostle said, Prophet Abraham circumcised himself after he had passed the age of 80 years and he circumcised himself using an ads. Do you have an ads in India? You know what ads is, right? It's like a sledgehammer. Because, you know, at that, at that time, Prophet Abraham, his penis was like, like, like you know, that, like, a, you know, those rockets, they send, they send them like from the tank. It was even bigger, you know, like woof, huge. So uh, he could not cut it with a scissor. There's no scissor can do that job. He tried even a saw, did not work. He bought even an electric saw, did not even go one inch. So he said to himself, let me use a sledge hammer. And then he was able to like, it was painful by the way. I tried it. So what do you know about your religion? I, I haven't studied in depth. I just know from my family, like about namaz and like all the five things that are there. And uh, you know from your family I about religion? What your family told you about your religion? That Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet and... Uh, He's the last prophet? He, uh, why, he is the last why, prophet. Why, why, why Allah, he closed the post office, that's it? Is the Muslim now are guided? 
why he is the last prophet? Did Muhammad do uh, a good job? I mean, Muhammad, he, 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 he is Allah. You know, you Muslims are really funny. Uh, why Muhammad is the last prophet? What happened? That's it. You know, isn't it, isn't it uh, your prophet, he said, that uh, if, if, uh, if the whole ocean was ink, will not be enough to write the word of Allah? What do you think? This this is written in Quran or Hadith you're talking about? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? You you are claiming the statement, not me. Seeking. No, I, you know, I think sometimes I like I like to sometimes I use my imaginary and I may I, I I made Quran. So now I'm saying I am a prophet and I believe that Muhammad uh, said uh, or Allah said that uh, uh, if the word of Allah to be written, the ocean will not be enough to write it. What do you think? That does not make sense, right? Because we can print the whole Quran by half ounce of ink. And if you are using laser machine, it's going to be less, way less, right? I agree. Okay, so how Muhammad says that in the Quran? Why the whole ocean cannot print the word of Allah, if the ocean was in ink, and this is what this is Quran. This is not Hadith. Chapter eighteen, verse one o nine. Do you know how to read English? I know, uh, but uh, but on YouTube it is written about the circumcision. So if you can just change this from like this verse to that. Uh, so what do you think about this verse now? If the sea were uh, ink. For writing the word of Allah, surely the sea would be exhausted before the word of my Lord would be finished. So how Muhammad is the last prophet and still there's the sea will not enough to print the word of Allah. Uh Look, uh, uh, look. I am, uh, as you are telling me, I am also. Uh, you know, you know. What, what's, what's your name, by the way? What's your name? Aman. Hamad. Uh, Aman. A M A N. Aman. Muhammad. Ahmad. Muhammad. What? Uh, Aman. 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 A M A N. Ahmad. Ahmad. Okay. Okay. So listen. No. What? Let, let me just write it on chat. Let me just write it on chat. Okay. Type it. Type it in the chat for me. I. I have. I have. I have. Uh, aman, 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 rabbi, aman. Okay, so listen, aman. Uh, if Muhammad is the last prophet, that means this verse is a fraud. Because the verse confirm that Allah, he is a talking machine. And to the point, the ocean, if all of it is ink, not water, will not be enough to write the word of Allah. That means we need to read the trillions of trillions of billions of trillions of all billion, billion, million, and we will not be enough. So how Muhammad, he claimed he is the far, I mean, he is the last prophet, but his Quran claiming that Allah never stopped talking. He's talking to who? Do you want to call a friend? Uh, no, uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, look, I ask am, me any uh, question you want, except why I am single. Are you uh, ex-Muslim? I am what? Ex-Muslim. Yeah, accor right. according to your prophet, I am. According to your prophet, everyone is born as a Muslim. And my mother, she confirmed that to me because she said to me when I was a kid, I used to do poo poo in my diaper, which is a clear evidence that I was a Muslim. That's what your prophet said. Everyone is born as a Muslim. So based on this, I am ex-Muslim. Second question. What's the most logically flawed thing that you have found? Like what, what, what? I don't understand. What? What? Let me just, let, let me just try. Just try. I don't understand. What? What's the most logically flawed thing that you have found in Quran? What? The most logic things? In the Quran? 
logically flawed, logically flawed. Uh, logically flawed, everything, everything. Name for me any page in the Quran is not stupid. Name no, for no, me, not, name for me anything in the Quran is not so stupid. Like, have you ever heard of a God? He says in the name of Allah. The first page in the Quran. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Imagine I'm a Christian prince. I say to you in the name of Christian prince. So what are you talking about? Every single line in the Quran is a fraud, is, is, is a flawed, is stupid, is dummy, is, 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 is I mean, it doesn't make sense even for a monkey in the zoo. By the way, talking about monkeys, do you like banana? No, I, I don't. You don't? Well, I have a bad news for you. Do you know that the Quran, Allah, he promises banana in the Quran, in the heaven? So what you would do in heaven now? You will go there and you will eat banana. You don't like banana. What kind of God is God? He promises banana in heaven? What? <laughs> you know? Uh, I mean, the, the, your God is really funny. Do you want to go to heaven? Yeah, yeah. But my okay. question was, if, yeah, all the, with all the knowledge that you have, let's say if you were to rank, what, what, what? what's the most logically? What? So, if, uh, I'm asking. Uh, let's say if you were to rank of all the logical issues in Quran from one to ten, it, uh, what would be that number one thing which is the most flawed that you think? As I said, I mean, like Allah, Allah as being God. I mean, this God, he do not know where the sunset. He think the sunset is uh, in, a, in a muddy water. This God, he's, he, you know, all the stupid things. I mean, it's endless. You know, you are making it so difficult for me to tell you which one, because all of it is stupid. Okay. Uh... Why you don't call? Why you don't call? Uh... A sheikh, you know, he can join us and you sit and you see what will happen because I want uh, somebody he have a strong knowledge in the book on the book of banana in the banana Republic of Muhammad and you, you know, you make decision after that because I think if you watch me debating your sheikh, you will leave Islam after that. Look, I am, I like by listening to you, talking to you, I am already on the verge of leaving. So I you are thinking Basically, you are thinking to leave us now yes the, i'll tell you my problem the reason why i'm not able to leave and maybe you can help me okay uh, so look I, I truly believe that prophet is or maybe uh, people call them jesus christ he came I, I i logically think and i think let's say if 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 there were a god in the world he would send a last prophet to actually recombine everything that is there in the Old and New Testament and just give a solid like one kind of book. So this is my number one reason that I think that if there was a God, he would actually send a lost prophet so that like everything is kind of combined. Okay, uh, I, 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 I want to stop with you. When you say prophet, what the prophet mean? A messenger, basically. Prophet, messenger prophet is a messenger? According to me, I think. Like okay, okay, no, no, I'm not saying no, I'm not saying, I'm just asking you. So, prophet is a messenger. Okay, so what the prophet who is a messenger would do? What exactly? You know, prophet is a messenger. But what, was Muhammad a messenger from God? I, 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 I personally believe that he was, yes. Okay, but uh, isn't, it the, isn't it your Muslim belief that Allah sent Muhammad an angel and that is the messenger? Who is the one sent from Allah? The angel, correct? Yeah. Okay, so how Muhammad became a messenger? If the message came with the messenger and the messenger is an angel, so how Muhammad is the messenger? Uh, okay, when I said messenger, so I I didn't meant that messenger of God. I meant messenger of God word to people. This is what I meant uh, when I said messenger. Okay. Let me see. I will go with you, but now we have bigger problem, and I want you to focus with me. You know, okay, okay. when you said to me, okay. show me in the Quran stupid things, I said to you, oh, the Quran is stupid, and this is why. So now, he is a messenger of God for the people, but the Quran says, in chapter 17, verse number 95, if we are, if there were on earth, 
angels walking about in peace and security, we should certainly have sent down for them from heaven an angel as a messenger. Do you know how stupid this statement is? Remember, you just said, and you agreed, that Allah is sent an angel to Muhammad, and Muhammad became a messenger by receiving a message from the messenger, which is from Allah, correct? Correct. Okay. But the verse in front of us, chapter 17, verse number 95, saying Allah will send only angels to the earth, only if the one who live in the earth are angels. Was Muhammad an angel? No. So there is a big mistake here. There were the angels walking, but we should certainly have sent them. Yeah, you are correct. I'm correct. So, what do you think? Isn't this is stupid? So, this has been all the story of Muhammad is false because Allah will send only an angel to the earth, only if the one who live in the earth, they were angel walking, living there. So. The story of sending an angel to earth in Islam is against all what we see in front of us here because Allah will never do it unless the one who live in the earth are angels. And they are living like us, as you see, walking in peace and security. So they are not like they live in the earth, you know, they live in the earth. So if there is angels who live in the earth, right. then the one will be sent to them is an angel. So how Allah sent Jibreel to Muhammad? Was Muhammad an angel or was a human? Look, he look. I have seen some verses in Quran which talk about that Muhammad was able to split the moon. You know, I, I want so, to focus with me. Was Muhammad an angel or he's a human being? Look, if he's doing some miraculous things, he cannot be a human. And I'm not. I don't think that he was an angel because if it was, he was an angel, it would be specified. So, so is he a human I, being or not? What What are you talking about? Is he a human being or not? Look, he has done some miraculous things, so I wouldn't... Be like what? Like him. what? Even his penis was not working. What miraculous? Isn't it the hadith like, says that Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind in Ifin, and then I invoke Allah, and then he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it, I got the power of 40 men. So what miracle? The guy cannot even fix his penis. Uh, basically, like splitting of moon is a big thing, which I thought that... Like what, what? Splitting of moon, basically. What's splitting in the moon? Split. This is a false. This is an eclipse. Uh, even the verse doesn't say even Muhammad split the moon. It says the moon is split, and the judgment day is near, and both are false. Because if the moon is split, you an Indian, as an Indian people, you will see it. You are next border to the, to uh, to uh, Saudi Arabia. You are very uh, close. India is very yes. close to Saudi Arabia. So when they have night, you have night too. Did you, Indian, witness ever the moon is splitting somewhere sometime? Did there is any historian, any Indian, any people in the world, they say, wow, the moon is split. And not only that, the Muslim in their story says that the moon is split to the point the Mount of Hara became between the two pieces, which means it is far distance from the two pieces, went far distance from each other. Okay, the moon is split, but the Quran never says we put the moon together. Because splitting the moon is a miracle. Putting the moon together is another miracle. So the Quran mentioned the moon is split ascender. And then the judgment is very near in the corner. But neither the judgment happened. And nobody witnessed such a thing. So uh, you were asking that, is anyone in India has seen this? So there is this Tamilian king which is possibly recorded. But there is the any historian, doesn't matter what his religion, mention that the moon is split in the let us say in the average of 100 year within the life of Muhammad 200 years there's any historian in the world anywhere in the world yes who I, I actually how, how do I send you this link uh, uh, mm. should I put now read for me the link read for me the link guys there is a historian he witnessed the moon splitting go ahead Look, 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 I, I'm just reading from the Wikipedia. Uh, this is recorded as an historical evidence. So that is why I'm just sharing it with you. My friend, when, when, so, when you say historical evidence, uh, who is the one talking? Muslims, right? <laughs> historical evidence. Okay, give me the historical evidence so we can laugh. 
once the okay i'm sorry uh, okay look I, i i just have limited knowledge so once the tamil king i don't care if you and, have limited knowledge or not this is all is a fraud my friend eclipse when your prophet he see eclipse he used to go not he go crazy he got scared actually is that true do you get scared when you see the eclipse no i, I don't why because i have knowledge about it Okay, that means Muhammad is a liar then, because you just said, if, because you have knowledge, you're going to get scared, but Muhammad, when he see the eclipse happen, he go crazy and he stop praying and stop. That because he is scared, he is terrified, and he shouts, you know, like loud and clear. So uh, here we go, read with me. I actually reported the apostle of Allah, Allah pray on him and, and, and salute him recited loudly the eclipse prayer he made even a prayer for the eclipse and he observed four rak'at so the guy he even make he make a special extra prayer for the eclipse why okay you okay that uh, this is not by starting this is by a uh, mosque huh uh, so yeah I'm, I'm sorry this this is not this is this is actually incorrect uh, nobody saw splitting the moon it's by a mosque i'm sorry uh, i shouldn't have so this is by Muslims. So, uh, look, CP, uh, look, if I if, look, if I leave Islam, what I fear the most is I don't want to be an atheist because. Uh, if you want to leave Islam, you don't want what? I don't want to be an atheist because that is. I don't understand. You don't want any what? Sorry, let me just. Uh, can you can you hear me properly? I I'm hear you, but uh, the sound is not clear for me. That's why I'm, I keep asking. So, if you want to leave Islam, you don't want what? I, I don't want to be an atheist. Ah, you don't want to be an atheist? Okay. Yeah. Well, no problem. So I mean, why? Is... it's up to you what you want to be, my friend. This is not my business. You can be whatever you no, want. No. But Islam is not Islam anyway. It's just a stupid cult. I mean, do you believe if you kill some people for the sake of Allah, there's a God who will give you a lot of women to F? Is that religion? Is that really religion? Those Hamas people now, they are killing people because they want to get the, the, the women to F. That's the whole story. They don't care for Allah. They, they are Muslim worship their penis. There's no Muslim worship Allah. The whole idea is how many women I'm going to F. This is why you see Al-Qaeda, ISIS, before somebody commits suicide, they start telling him, brother, now when you go to heaven right away, right away when you push this bomb, right away you will find beautiful women naked in front of you. They will jump on you. One will suck your, uh, and the one will suck your, and the other one will suck, you know, and then, and then, you know, boom, you are sucked already. So this is religion. So if you want to be an atheist, it's up to you. You want to worship even the moon is even better than you know what worshiping Satan is better than he being a Muslim. Have you ever heard of a satanic person who worships Satan, yeah. kidnapping children, uh, cutting their head? No. Have you ever heard of a satanic person? There is people who worship Satan, kidnapping women and cutting them pieces. No. Have you ever heard of a satanic people doing what Muslims do? No. So satanic people who worship Satan and they have a temple for Satan, they are one billion time better ethic than somebody worship Allah. Look, I, uh, I, I think um, I want to leave Islam. So, all right. Well, I'm happy for you if you decide to leave Islam. Now, let me tell you, what do you think about Christianity? As long as you decide to leave Islam. I'm happy for you. What do you think about Christ? Look, uh, I only have knowledge from the Islamic verse. So I think, uh, according to Islamic people, they say that uh, uh, Prophet Isa, they usually call it. So uh, he was a messenger of God after Moses, and uh, he was born to, I think, Maryam. I don't remember the name. Okay, you know what? I will stop word by word. When somebody says to you, Isa is the messenger of God. First of all, we don't believe in such a person. His name is Isa. So forget about this name. His name is the Messiah. His name is Yeshua. So uh, when we say he is a messenger of God, but isn't it Jesus himself was a miracle? Can, can you repeat? I, I lost your voice. Sorry. Isn't it the Messiah himself was a miracle himself? Yeah, uh, he has done some miraculous things. No, no, no. I'm not talking about miracles he does. No, no, no. I'm talking he, he, he was a miracle. Isn't it him born from a version, which means he is the miracle? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. But isn't God is a miracle? Yeah. 
Yeah, but maybe he can be a miracle of God. But yeah, no, no, no. Hold on. No, no, no. God Himself is a miracle. A miracle of God is different from miracle to be yourself miracle. So the Messiah Himself is the miracle. And because how we can confirm that he is the miracle and the miracle continue, the miracle is making miracles. You see, my creation is a miracle, but I cannot do miracles. Correct? You cannot. Correct. Okay. But the Messiah, he is a miracle oh. who is a miracle manufacturer. So the miracle itself making miracles. Why? Because this is the source of miraculous things. That is the Messiah. So the Messiah, even in the stupid Quran, when he was a child in the cradle, he spoke, correct? Correct. Muhammad took him 40 years, and then the angel came to him, and he squeezed him three times, and still Muhammad have no idea what this guy he want. The Messiah, he was in the cradle, speaking the word of God. Where he learned it? Before he was born. Where? How he can learn before you were born? Well, 44, this is God. He is the word of God, and the word of God now is born into us. So God is with us. That's why we Christian, we call him Emmanuel. God is with us. So the Messiah, not only a miracle, he is a miracle manufacturer for God is with us doing miracle through us and in front of us. So this is why we believe the Messiah is God. Not only that, the Messiah, not only God who do miracles, he is beyond that. His ethic is beyond ethic. His love is beyond love. His wisdom is beyond wisdom. You will not find the speech of Jesus talking about penises, flying no carpets. Way. You will not find Jesus speaking about beating your wife and being stupid, arrogant. You will find Jesus teaching you how to be the top-notch person between society, how to be an example of every example. This is why we find that the Messiah, not only just a person who did miracles and he delivered wisdom, but he was an example of how God can be on earth. Look, I, I, I hear you, uh, but like the conflicting ideology in my mind is right now saying that Moses, or as Muslims call him Musa, he was born out of normal mother and he also did like he fought with people so my friend my friend Moses he spoke to God but God even in the Quran Allah he spoke even to shaitan what a big deal but Allah never spoke to Muhammad but listen with me carefully the Messiah do not need to speak to anyone why for he is the word of God he himself is the word of God so the word of God who is born is the walking, talking, living word of God, God on earth. So the Messiah himself, it's, it's an honor for you to speak to God. It's an honor to me to speak to God. But now God himself, God words, which is the Messiah, is speaking to us. And this is the difference between the God of Islam, which is a false God, and the God of Christianity. God of Christianity, he can prove himself. He can show himself. The God of Islam is just a fiction. Where is this guy, Allah? Muhammad himself never spoke to him, never saw him, never heard his fault. All what he claimed, and there's no witnesses. Listen, listen, now already you left Islam, no problem. But I'm just comparing. So in the case of the Messiah, we have even until now, people witness miracles happening in the name of Christ. In the name yeah. of Christ. So the Messiah is a living God, not a living messenger. For you can make do miracle in the name of a Christ, but you cannot do miracles in the name of a messenger. Yeah, you can. So why don't accept Christ as your savior, my friend? So, according to you, like Christian people, I want to ask you: uh, How do you see Moses as like? Uh, how do you see? Do you do you see him as a prophet or a messenger or a? For me, I don't find a, 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 a difference between prophet and messenger because simply you see the only prophet, the only true prophet is God. For a pro prophet is what? Is a prophecy. Someone telling me the future, correct? Correct. So who is the first one who told us the future? God, correct? Mm, okay. Correct. So God himself is the first prophet and the only prophet. The rest is just delivering the, the prophecy. So 
That is the Messiah. This is why the Messiah, he don't prophesy. He is the prophecy. He is the word. He is the message. And he is God. So Moses, for me, is just a person did his job. A job is needed for his time, for his people, and to people to follow. Everyone, everyone chosen by God to deliver something to us, he is just doing a job. He's not the purpose. He's not. Neither Moses, neither Abraham, neither, none of them is the purpose. The purpose is God and salvation. So in order for us to be saved, salvation have to come only through the Messiah. Moses cannot save you. Abraham cannot save you. I cannot save you. I cannot save myself. The only one who can save me and save you is the Messiah. So the Messiah is the only Savior, and I don't care about the rest. All those who came before the Messiah is just to prepare for his coming. And now he arrived. So do I need Moses? Well, I need to learn about what happened to Moses and his people. Yeah, yeah. I need to know about the Ten Commandments. Yeah, but I need to know more about my salvation, which is going to happen only through Christ. So Christ is the one who is important. The rest is just to prepare for the mighty king to arrive. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so just last question. According to you, you have read Bible, Torah, and a lot of other books. How do you find no mistakes in them as you have find in Quran? I can understand. Say again. So uh, you haven't find any mistakes in Bible and Torah as you have seen in Quran, like by your knowledge. I'm asking you. My friend, the word mistake. Yeah. I, I can I can say I found a mistake, uh, but I will be mistaken because simply we can see a mistake because we are ignorant. And I will explain to you. So if I do not know the history of the people we are reading about, as an example, once a person says to me, how the the the, the Garden of Eid, uh, Adam and Eve called Eden, but Eden was established long, long after. That because of the ignorance of the person the city Eden was named after the name in the Bible, not the opposite. So I can find a mistake because of my ignorant or ignorance, not because the mistake is in the Bible. So people who they are ignorant, they find mistakes, not people who they are educated. People who they are educated, they will not find the mistakes. Uh, have you seen like anything in Bible and Torah which any human cannot be able to tell at that particular time, but that was true after they have left the earth. Have you found anything? Like, do you know? Do you know about anything? Like, I, it can be scientific in nature or anything. I have like, I have difficulty to understand what you are saying. I really. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Let me let me read, let me reiterate the question. So, uh, have you found any scientific like thing which wasn't possible for that like? people in that particular era for them to find out. Have you find anything scientific in Bible and Torah which... Do you find anything scientific? My friend, first of all, I don't look for science to find God. Even though the Bible speaks about many things is scientific, like it's, as an example, the Bible says that the earth is hanged on nothing. But who care? I'm not going to believe in God because it says something scientific. Because at the same time, it is not then scientific that a man is born of a virgin, is it? No, it's not. No, no, no. Okay, that's... so only foolish people, they try to match science and faith. Uh, you know, if we say God is a miracle, that means science is not located there at all. For miracles, even science, use it, the, the term miracle, you will find the doctor saying to you, oh, you know what? It was a miracle that he survived. The doctor, he says that because scientifically he cannot explain how this has happened. Even though he's a doctor, he's not a priest. So the word miracle is we use in language when we cannot explain something happening against nature. So either we believe in what can happen based on nature, or and that always will be the case, then we don't believe in anything else, or we can believe that there's miracles. And the second we believe in miracles, that mean we believe in God, for this is what God is. Nobody can explain his power. 
That's why we call him Almighty. So I am not a fool to try to find God by believing in a person, he is a professor, telling me about science. Why? Because even himself, he might change his mind about his science next year. Every year they have a new discovery, and sometimes new discovery delete the previous discovery. So we find that the previous discovery was a false discovery, like the Big Bang. So now many scientists, they start saying, you know what, the Big Bang theory obviously is collapsing, and many of them, they don't want to adopt it no more. But they have the Big Bang for more than 30 years. They give us headache with it. Since I was a kid, they teach me in school, Big Bang, Big Bang, Big Bang. Then now we grow and we became adult and we grow older. And then we find what, oops, they send a telescope and now they are finding that the Big Bang is really not what they thought. So science itself, something change. It's not even fixed. They call it fact until you prove the opposite. I don't follow that. I don't, I'm not denying science. I'm not against it. I encourage people to study science and to do innovation, to help humanity, etc. But God is above science. And if things can happen only by nature, they themselves cannot explain how the nature even happened to be nature. I mean, you look around you, you will be amazed about the creation around us. Billions of kinds of bugs. Each one of them is so complicated. The eye alone of a bug is really scary. So the one who the one who did this, you know, the one who did this, no science can explain it. They can do all kinds of theory. They can do all kinds of studies. They but can. If you, say, if you say, you say God is a miracle. So can you tell me any prophecy which kind of was fulfilled uh, when Jesus spoke about it, like? You agree, right? Prophecy is something which can be fulfilled. I don't understand. Do you, you want me to talk about prophecy Jesus said? Yeah, yeah, which which later became true or any prophecy of Moses which later became true. Well, I, you know, I, I don't want you to, to stay with me and tell you prophecies because we have hundreds of them in the Old Testament. All what you need to do, go to Google and type prophecies about Jesus. You will have hundreds of prophecies about Jesus from the Old Testament, not only in the, I mean, the New Testament will not really be a prophecy unless it's talking about the coming of Jesus second time. But all the Old Testament is full of prophecies about Jesus. In fact, even the book of Genesis, which is talking about the names of the children of uh, Adam, even those about the coming of Jesus. You can go right now and search for video in YouTube it's called a uh, 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 secret code in the book uh, book of Genesis. Read it, watch it. You will be amazed. Even the names, yeah. even the names, yeah. names of men. They are not even. It's not like a. Uh, it's not like a story. Like you know, he gave birth to this. He named it this. He named it that. And then we will find that all those names is telling us that the the God who came as a man to die and give us comfort. So even the names of the children of Adam is a message about Jesus, which none of us will think about it because we do not, most of us do not know the language and we do not know what those names mean. So say Adam, okay, Adam, a human, a man, uh, you know, Noah, etc. So we just, uh, we just copy names, we don't know the names. But the second you start putting the names next to each other, which means the meaning of them, you will find that the names is telling us a message about the coming of Jesus. I am reading it right now. It says that Christ will be born in Bethlehem. It was already written. So, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, there's many, but uh, uh, the one I want you to see uh, okay. is this one. Let me find it. I will hang up and you you watch me in YouTube and I will call you back. So you can hear the video. I, oh. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you. So this is guys a video. It's called Hiding Message in Genesis. Hiding Message in Genesis. And that will tell you that the Bible is an amazing book and there is messages even in names, not only in a plain text. But 
the, for the majority of Christians, and even Jews, don't speak the language, and that will make them unable to know what is really the message there. Listen carefully. There's another place that God appears to have laid out His plan in advance, and that's in some subtleties, and one of which I'd like to share with you in Genesis chapter 5, a genealogy. <laughs> The genealogy in Genesis chapter 5 goes from Adam, the first man, down through Noah. And in Genesis chapter 5, if you wade through that, I encourage you to make a list of the names. Adam gives, uh, gave birth to Seth. Seth, Enosh. Enosh, Kenan. Kenan, Mahalal. Mahalal, Jared. Jared, Enoch. Enoch, Methuselah. Methuselah Lamech, and Lamech was the father of Noah. Let's take these names, ten names. But see, the problem is we need to know what the names mean. And if you have a study Bible or a source, a, a lexicon, what have you, you know that the name Adam means man. As you go through your Bible, when these names are typically first introduced, most of your marginal footnotes will tell you what the name means. Adam means man. Seth means appointed. Enosh means mortal. Kenan means sorrow. Mahalel means the blessed God. Jared means shall come down. Enoch means teaching. Methuselah means his death shall bring. Lamech means the despairing. And the word Noah means rest or comfort. Now, Let's read that genealogy as a sentence. Man is appointed mortal sorrow. The blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring the despairing comfort. Mm -hmm. that wild? Do you see it? Death shall bring the despairing comfort. Isn't that wild? Even this, which is just names, is telling us a story about the Messiah. What do you want more? So I will call you one more time, and then we continue with our topic, and we will see if this person will accept the Messiah as his Savior. He left Islam already, which is good. So did you see the video? I did. Can you hear me now? All right, I hear you. So what do you think, my friend? Would you like to accept the Messiah as your savior? Yes. I mean to that, I'm happy for you. And uh, feel free to join us in the chat always. And when you have a questions, I would be happy to help you. All right? So I, I want to ask you something that why like so many Muslims people who are so knowledgeable, like Saq and Naik and other people, they, they can they see the reality, what you just showed me? Even I was out. Well, everybody, everybody will see in his time. And people, they decide, you have to make decision yourself. So, and, and some people, they are doing business too. Like, you know, it's a, it's a business, big business. So like, it's like closing your store, Zach and Nike. You, you want him to close the store, make him, making him a treasure of gold. People, you know, for the sake of money, they do drugs. They start, do strap teas. They show their private part online just for the sake of money. So what do you want? I mean, people, they, you know, for sale, a business, it's a big business. So everyone, he have his own reason to stay where he is or to move to a different place. And, you know, you have your own reason too. So I'm happy for you that you decided to leave Islam and became a Christian today. Okay, and how, how do you know Pray to Jesus. I mean, do you have namaz, rakat? How, how I what? How do you pray to, like, do you have namaz or rakat or something like that? You know, the, the, the Messiah, he says, when you pray, you go to your closet and you can say to him whatever you want. However, we have a prayer. It's called Our Father, Art of Heaven. You know, you just search in Google, Prayer of the Lord, and you uh, will see yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I was in Christian school, so I know that prayer. But... So you don't need to have like five time namaz and rosa and You pray as you wish. It's it's not about you stand up in a certain way or you sit down in a certain way. For God, He can hear you as you are. And God, He can hear you wherever you are. 
You can pray anytime. You can pray uh, in, uh, when you are in the bus station. You can pray in, in the train. You can pray in, at home. You can pray. But don't be hypocrite and show people that you are praying. For those who do that, they are just seeking reward of, you know, they want to look good. See, I am a person who pray to God. I'm a good man. Those are hypocrite. Don't do that. The Messiah, he warned us about not to pray like those hypocrite in the corners. And it's what Muslims they do. So prayer is a speech from heart to the Lord. So speak as you wish. Just make a decent prayer. Don't pray for the death of others. Don't make a, a, a prayer of hate. Don't make a prayer just for uh, uh, your, your own benefit and at the same time harming people. Pray uh, a, a decent prayer. And the most important prayer we should pray for is to be guided. And whatever that will be is good for us. Let the Lord guide us. Uh -oh. All right. Oh, okay, it's actually too much for me. Like it's you're it's welcome, a bit overwhelming because there's a lot of information and processing. All right. So, so you're saying like all of people who died in history, like people like Salahuddin Ayubi and other people who are actually fighting for Islam, they just they're stupid, right? Because they're just fighting for. Well, so it, is Islam is a violent religion. And those people, they are dying in vain, and there is no heaven waiting for them. In fact, they will go to hell. For anyone who commit a crime, he will end where a criminal will end. Everybody have and shall pay for his crimes. And those criminals who follow Muhammad, they will pay for their yeah. crimes. They think they are going to go to heaven. They will go to hell yeah. guaranteed. All right. Thank you, my friend, for calling. And uh, I'm happy Thank for you. Sorry. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, maybe I can email you because I have some questions. So just... If you can help me out, no, really no problem. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, thanks. All right. Do we have any Muslim? What happened to this guy? He wanna see me in YouTube. He's gone. You see, our title is Why the Jews Killed Muhammad. And because we've been driven, you know, with many topics, and we have those two Muslims called us, and one of them left Islam, thank God, and now he became a Christian, it was a good talk as long as there's a good result for it. But why the Jews killed Muhammad? Simply because Muhammad is a criminal. You know, the Bible says, the one who lived by the sword shall die by the sword. Muhammad, he says, I've been making my living by the shadow of my arrow. My living, how I make living? By killing. Literally. So Muhammad lived by the sword, and then he shall die by the sword. If we go in the Quran, on the Hadith, we will find the story about a Jewish woman killed Muhammad. But why this Jewish woman, she killed Muhammad? Because simply he killed her people. He killed her family. He slaughtered all her tribes. And he took the children and the women as a slave, six slaves. And this is exactly what will happen to the scumbags of Hamas. Those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. And this is justice. And we as a Christian, we should not accept any solution any solution we will not accept anything beside taking those filthy criminals into justice and the justice is those people who kill shall be killed we will not accept Israel negotiating with terrorists we will not accept Biden the coward to negotiate with terrorists. That's what they do. We will not accept anything except justice. Who is going to bring the head of the baby back to his body? Who is going to bring those women back to their life? Who is going to bring the life of those people who've been slaughtered for no reason? 
The Muslim, they speak loud and they ask for a human right, but they don't believe even we are a human. They believe we are animals. They believe they have the right to kill every single one of us. The Quran describe us and the Jews as pigs and monkeys and filth, the worst of creatures. Najis, the Muslim, they speak about the human rights, but they are the same people who flee from their land for zero human right in their lands. Why? Because it's an Islamic land. Have you ever seen one Muslim land is not a corrupt, anti-humane government, president, and religion? In fact, Muhammad, he encouraged people. He encouraged people to live under corrupt rulers. Muhammad, he reminded me of the false priest. Who they use the scriptures falsely to make us obey false corrupt leaders when the scriptures never meant that all of us we knew that John the Baptist a great man a wonderful man of God he paid his life for he refused to obey a filthy corrupt king While Muhammad, he said clearly, you obey your emir, even if he is a thief, even if he snatch your food, even if he flag your back, even if he take your wealth, you obey. And now Islam is the way to live as a dictator. No human right, no freedom of speech, no freedom of religion, no freedom of food, no freedom of fasting, no freedom of clothing, no freedom of music, no freedom of playing chess, anything, anything is between two bracket, and you have to do it as Muhammad said. Who is a Muslim who dare to call us and prove us wrong? Any Muhammadan? This is the land of the Jews. The Quran confirm it. Chapter 5, verse number 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. The Hadith confirm it. Your faith, your prophet, he confirmed that the one who built the temple is Solomon. Solomon, not Muhammad. Your books against you history against you yet you coward you claim that this is your land syria is not your land iraq is not your land egypt is not your land tunisia morocco libya turkey does not even exist you snatch you are a thief you are a pirate in fact the only pirate exists in this world today is muslims in fact, the first war USA went after independent, it was with the Muslim pirate in Libya. The first war ever. It was the, with the piracy of the Muslims. Any ship when I go in the Mediterranean, the Muslim, they jump on it, they kidnap the people and they ask for ransom and they rape the women. This is truth and this is reality. If there is any Muhammadan there to call us, we have a guy, his name is Walid in the chat. Walid, why don't call us, Mr. Walid? 
You know Walid? There's a Muslim guy, his name Khalid ibn Walid. Do you know what Khalid ibn Walid did? A great leader. He cooked a Muslim man and he effed his wife. Did your mom give you this name? And she knew what this name mean? Is it true, Walid? That your name is for a man. He killed a Muslim man and he cooked him and he effed his wife? Are you there, Walid? Now Walid will stop texting. He will play dead. This is what Muslim do. He killed the guy, guys. And then he cooked his head and he made a soup with it and he drank it. In the same time after he finished the dinner, he went to his wife and he effed her. And the Muslim, they call him the sword of Allah. He is the sword of Allah. Is that your name, Walid? Why you don't call me and I will prove it? Guys, he said, we have another Walid here. Oh, this is a V. A V, this is not his name. Walid is here, hold on, I got the wrong one. Walid, why you don't call me and challenge me live on air to prove it? And if I could not prove it, then I will apologize and you can label me as you wish as a liar. Is that fair, people? Is that fair? Walid, he is saying, I am a liar. Not only that, I can show you your prophet effing his own son wife and flirting with his wife when the husband was not home, which means the prophet is no better than Walid. So do you dare to call me and get me busted? Or what you need to do? You call me. You say to me, you are a liar. Show me the reference. If I don't show the reference, you and everyone here will laugh at me. And I promise you not to come back in YouTube ever again. Do you dare? Or now you will play dead. I advise you to play dead. Or you know what you can play as a Monica Lewinsky. Which means you lay down in the in, on the table of uh, Billy Clinton. So which one is is you is the is the hero Walid or Monica Lewinsky in the bed uh, of uh, Billy Clinton? The fornicator. Please, guys, don't talk about Walid balls. He's from Hamas. Hamas they have balls. And now Israel is making them barbecue. You know what? I was really upset that the Israeli TV, they announced that every one hour they are killing an, an average of 50 fighters of Hamas. I mean, can you believe it? Only 50? What disgusting. 50? That 100 balls. Very disappointed. Do we have any Mohammedan? They don't dare to call me. They don't dare to say to me, you are a liar. Because they knew I am not. Otherwise, trust me, if I'm a person who is making up a lie, they will be lining up to call me. They will line up, literally, one after one. This is why you see, if somebody is a Western, he want to debate Mohammedans, what the Western they will, they will do, the, the Muslim they will line up to debate them, man. Mimi Hijab, he wanna speak to uh, what is name this guy, idiot Morgan, Morgan. But, but Mimi Hijab don't dare to be with me. Don't dare to take even my call. I called him, he hung up on me a couple of times. He did not even allow me to say anything. Yet we got him busted. Suckle me. Hamas? We are going to make you hummus. We are going to make you hummus. Hezbollah? Be a man, Hezbollah. 
and join the forces in the fight. Hezbollah. I mean, have you ever heard of a God, he have a party? The Quran says Hezb has been party, like political party. <laughs> Hezbollah. This is the God who have a party. Is Allah Republican or Democrat? You know, I don't like those videos, really. I mean, they show us nothing. Oh, okay, how we will see now those, the balls of Hamas being cooked? We don't see anything. Okay, so now the airplane flying in the top of them, and then the airplane, you know, boom, okay, bye-bye. We want to see what happened. That's not right. Yeah. They finish one and then the second one. Boom. The second one is gone. Boom. More boom. You know, many of us is waiting for Israel to do something, right? And that is the ground invasion. I don't know why they are delaying it. But I think they have a good reason. But it's going to happen. Let us see. And for now, they are just doing barbecue from far distance. You know? I guess this way it's more safe. And as they have all the time. And why you want to rush? Barbecue with them from far distance. Uh, don't be loud, my people. Zak al Naik. Zak al Naik is going to join Mujahideen. He decided to, de to, do to donate one of his testicles. Walid saying to me, Fear Allah. S A S W T. Walid. I mean, the only people who add words after the name of their God is the Muhammadan. Look, guys, look at this. Walid is trying to make me intimidated. How? By this. Christian Prince. No, I should speak it like the Indonesian guy. Christian Prince, I want you to fear Allah. Hey, Walid, why you don't call me and tell me to fear Allah? I want to hear your voice. Do you have a voice like Lili Dawa? We will give you some hormone. So you will be a man. Fear Allah, SWT, what short wave transgender, I don't know what is that. He did take the life of David Wood, son, he will take your life too, my friend, just wait. <laughs> Abdul Potato, David Wood's son, supposedly he should die, you know, 20 years ago. I mean, the guy is sick by birth. You stupid Muslims, I will die one day too, and you will die too. But let us focus in what you just said. I will take what you said for granted. Do you agree that the one who took the life of Muhammad is Allah? By poison? I challenge you to say no. Look, Muhammad, he said in the Quran, if I fabricated Quran, Allah said, I will cut his altar. I will cut what? His artery. Chapter 69. I mean, Muhammad is always, when he talk about himself, he's dirty. 69, shame on you. Anyway, if Muhammad fabricated Quran in our name, Allah said, we will cut off his life artery. Between two bracket, orta. All right, we go to the hadith. The hadith says that Muhammad died exactly as the Quran said, read it. So now based in what Walid said, uh, it's fabricated. Uh, this is fabricated. Uh, uh. Guys, this is fabricated. Muslim, they fabricate stories about their prophet. I mean, a lot of respect for you Muslims then. So you Muslims, you write books about your prophet fabricating what your prophet said. 
that is telling me why nobody trusts Muslims and no Muslim trust Muslims. In fact, the books written by Muslims proven to us that all the followers of Muhammad, they have a low IQ. How we can prove that? Look at this. Look at this here. No, no, not about Abraham cutting his penis with the ads. This is acceptable. At that time, they used to do so, brother. Yeah, actually, I heard that uh, Adam, he cut his penis by the door of the van. Yeah, yeah. He put his uh, uh, penis in the van and he ordered uh, from far distance because his penis is so long. He ordered order Eve to close the door. I'm like, Psh, you know, ah! but anyway, like it took a few days, a few months, and his penis would grow up like a lizard tail. So, but look what happened. It is a lie, he is saying. It's a fabricated, he is saying. Just to show you how stupid Hamas and the follower of Muhammad are. Look what Muhammad said. Whoever write from me anything except the Quran, he shall erase it. So the stupid Muhammad, and he wrote then, Prophet Muhammad said, don't write anything except the Quran. Abdul, he just told you, don't write anything except the Quran. And you are writing this. And that explain why the rocket of Hamas coming down in the top of Hamas. Hamas, they send rocket to the Jews. The rocket come back. The rocket in love with them. They cannot leave. Look, we, we, we are coming back. We send you to the Jews. The rocket is coming back in the top of their head. If you watch the videos, you can you can count yourself. You do not need somebody to show you. You will see how many rockets they go up and then go down in the top of their head. And that's what we see here. Their stupid prophet just told them, don't write down anything except the Quran. But this is not Quran. Abdul, he write, Prophet Muhammad says, don't write down except the Quran. Oh, and then they wrote all the books after that. About what the Prophet said. After what the Prophet said, that don't write anything I say except the Quran, they wrote all those books about what the Prophet said. Do you see how smart they are? And Hamas, they read for us what is in those books, including this. The religion of donkeys. Ah, speaking of donkeys, why the leaders of Hamas, they look weird? That explain it. Muhammad, he have a scientific discovery that only in his religion, if somebody leave his head or raise his head before the leader of the prior finish, Allah will make his head ahead of a donkey. You laugh now, you will not laugh in the day of judgment. My friend, don't worry about the day of judgment. Well, he'd worry about now. The Israeli are going to make shish kebab in your anus. Ah. Do you remember the one who made fun of the miswak, what Allah did to him? Guys, anyone remember? Muslims, they have a crazy stories. All of it is fabricated. A guy, he made fun of the miswak. Miswak is a little piece of uh, Muslim. They cut it. It's a long root, actually. They beat women with it. Uh, it's a root of a tree. And they cut it pieces because now they become expensive. Uh, and they use it as a brush to brush their teeth, which is not good. So this guy, he's a Muslim. He made fun of the miswak. But you cannot make fun of the miswak. Our Prophet Muhammad said, use it. He used to use it. So this guy, according to the story, he put the miswak in his anus. Always the story, by the way, in Islamic books, have to be connected or connected with anuses. So he put the miswak in his anus. Brother and sisters, nine months after, this person, he delivered a child. Yes, yes. He is a male. Good and breath. First of all, the story is not like that. What do you mean? I did not finish it yet. Let me finish it and you correct me. Good and breath. First of all, this person is not a good Muslim. He is a Muslim, but he is a good Muslim. What good Muslim, not Muslim? He is a Muslim. Bad Muslim, you know, all of you are bad anyway. So, good and breath. First of all, if he is a good Muslim, he will not make fun of the work. Okay, so he is that a bad Muslim now? Okay, well, what happened? Tell us the story. Look at your breath. This person, he owned the mitzvah and he put it in his uh, Zachary, don't, don't put your hand there. I mean, talk about it, but don't show me. Shame on you. Why are you doing it? 
Get them pants. I wasn't doing it. I wasn't telling you exactly what you were doing. Why you want to show me exactly what he's doing? Just tell me what he's doing. There's no point of putting them swag in your anus. Are you stupid or what? Shame on you. Get them pants. First of all, it happened automatically. What automatically, not automatically? I mean, you do not need to do what you want to tell me to show me what happened. I understand. Do you think I'm slow? Get them pants. First of all, I know that they are very slow. What do you mean very slow? Your God, Allah took him 600 years to send us Muhammad to tell us that the one who was on the cross was not Jesus. So who is the slow here? Get them pants. First of all, 600 years is very fast. What the heck? 600 years is very fast. And why you are changing the topic now? Go back to the miswak. What happened to the guy? Okay, get them pants. So the person, he put the miswak in his anus. And then Allah put it him. And after nine months, he delivered a baby. But, but the guy is a man. How he deliver a baby? Christian Prince, it's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Okay, where the baby is born from? Christian Prince, <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> from his anus. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, ouch. That will hurt. Exactly. And this is the purpose of the punishment. Because Allah will hurt him. Uh, okay. And uh, he deliver a baby. What happened? Is it true that the baby have an anus of a rabbit? Exactly. And he died right away after? Exactly. And the guy who did that to the Miswak, he died too? Exactly. So how that in the world happened? I am making fun of Allah every day. How come Allah is not give, making me giving birth to a rabbit? Exactly. I mean, do you see how they fabricate stories? The guy made fun of the miswak. Allah make him give birth to a rabbit within nine months. I am making fun of Allah for all my life. I need a medical attention. Walid, you just hurt the nerve, my friend. Let me tell you a story of mine. Why you don't call me Walid, honestly? I like you. Honestly. I want to put you in eBay for sale. So guys, Walid, they discover that I need attention, medical attention. Walid, what do you think about the Prophet? He used to imagine himself having sex with the wives, but in fact it was the goat, as the Hadith says. Do you think he need a medical attention? I'm serious. Is it true that your Prophet, somebody took some hair from his anus, and since then, your prophet cannot have sex? I mean, literally. And then Allah, he sent two angels and took him one year to open the 12 knots, which made Muhammad act like knot. That's a lot of knots, man. It took Allah 12 months to open it 12 knots. Look how fast he is. Don't join the Marines. They will kick you out. They will send you to Hawaii and they will teach you how to make a knot and they will give you three minutes. If you do not make it, they will kick you out of the training. It's called the J training, which means the jungle training. So Walid, am I lying by what I'm saying or I'm saying the truth that you're a prophet, need medical attention, He protect the prophet. Well, this is not what happened. As you see, he died by poison. In the top of that, your prophet, he was not able to have sex. I mean, just sex, man. I mean, what this guy can do then? If sex, he cannot do. Huh? Okay, let's see who is this guy. I don't know, he's a Muslim or not. <laughs> the Prophet... Looks like he have a bad internet. The Prophet, he imagined himself having sex, boom, boom, with his wives, but in fact, he was not. What was the problem? I mean, your prophet, even his sex was fake.
Let us say this guy. <coughs> we have a fish. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you said you Christians yeah. have, Christians are full of hate. You are full of hate, my friend. All right. What what is hate? Um, you you just said in your life okay. you want you you feel it's correct Israel bombing Palestinians and tell me, are Palestinians Hamas? Yeah, Hamas. Don't you like killing Hamas? I like killing Hamas. What's the problem? Oh really? Okay. So then you agree that white people are KKK? Well, your prophet was a KKK. And Arabs are terrorists. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is your prophet no, a KKK? No, no. Is your prophet a KKK or not? I'm not a Muslim, but. Well, you are, because I'm anti-religion. Okay. You religious people are. Or, you know, your, your name is Olga from I'm Russia. Sorry. Listen, listen. Okay, if you are not a Muslim, then say to me the, the following: Muhammad is a scumbag. I will believe you then. Uh. Hamas is a scumbag. No, no, not, a not, not, no, no, say Muhammad, Muhammad, say Muhammad. I want to hear, I want to hear you, I want to hear you. I want, shut up, I want to hear you saying Muhammad is a scumbag. Say it. I will say when you say that Israel is also a scumbag. No, say Muhammad, a, a shoe of an Israeli is better than your head. Say Muhammad, say Muhammad is a scumbag. I will continue talking to you. Otherwise, I have no more time. Sorry. Say Muhammad is come back. Already, already you uh, said already. You want to play? Yeah. Look, I said everyone is a scumbag. How many Think, times? Have to okay, say? if everybody is a scumbag, that means you are a scumbag. So why we talk to you? Uh, Shut up. That means your dad is a scumbag too. That explains a lot. Everybody is scumbag. Potato. You kill their children in any country in the world. Doesn't matter what your religion have. If somebody kills somebody, the punishment is execution. So Hamas, they have to be executed, and we will have party for it. Why not? We are not politically correct, my friend. We say things as it is. Those who they are politically correct are not us. Every scumbag of Hamas must be punished, and the punishment for death is death. The Bible say, guys, what the punishment for a killer in the Bible? Doesn't matter what his religion is. He's a Jew. He's a Christian. He's a Hindu. He's an atheist. Doesn't matter. The one who kill must be killed. That is the just. They not only killed men. They killed women, children, people in their houses, in their beds, people even dancing, and you know, filthy, filthy scumbags. Hello? Hello. Is that you again? What do you mean? Is that me again? Have you spoken to me before? Oh, because there is a guy, he was trying to find my video in YouTube, but he could not. You didn't speak to me before? I have spoken to you before, but um, I want to know what's your what's your problem? What's your topic today? Because I was my, watching... My topic today, happened. why the Jews killed Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Why you are you're not serious, are you, CP? You're not serious, are you? No, I'm serious, very serious. Isn't it the Jews killed Muhammad? What? Oh, he's using the internet of the neighbors. Hello? Hello? My friend, stop your habit as a Muslim using the internet of the neighbor. Pay for one. Hamas, they use electricity from Israel, water from Israel. They, they don't pay for it. Internet from Israel. And then when the internet is cut, they say, see, the neighbors cut the internet. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, you want to debate me? Debate me, coward? Well, Prophet Muhammad, why you don't call me? How am I going to debate you without calling me? I mean, this guy lost his connection. Let us see who's the coward. Oh. All right.
Where is the brave Muslim? Are you serious, CP? Well, I'm serious. Muhammad died by a poison bought by a Jewish woman from Walmart. Caused her. I even remember. I have the. I have the, the, the receipt. Twenty cents at that time. Cents was expensive, by the way. Not like now, inflation. She went to Walmart. She bought the poison. She put it in the goat. The goat, Muhammad, he ate it, and Muhammad starts suffering since then. And as you see here, Muhammad saying that the goat poison killed him, and he died. Are you serious, CP? We'll tell that to Muhammad. Muhammad says that's not my fault. Muhammad, he said that the Jewish woman she killed him. Khaybar is the name of the tribe of the Jews. Why I don't give my phone number? I don't have a phone number. Do you have a phone number? Why your Why your God Allah don't give His phone number? I mean, everybody in the world have a phone number except Allah. How Muhammad he speak to Allah? Huh. Allah he sent Jibreel to Muhammad, and then there's a dead dog under the bed of Muhammad, and then Jibreel waiting outside, and Muhammad waiting, first day, second day. Third day, fifth day, seven days, eight days, nine days, eleven days. Come tomorrow. Then two weeks after. And then Muhammad, uh, uh, he he asked, uh, "There is uh, there is any smell? I mean, the dog is dead for the last two weeks under your bed, you idiot. And you did not notice a dog is not a, even a rat. I mean, if a if a mice die under your bed, the smell will be horrible." Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's me again. Um, apologies. Yeah, no problem. Stop using uh, the internet of the neighbors, my friend. Uh, listen, don't be silly. Silly. Um, what? What silly mean? You know what it means. No, um, I don't know. So, okay. So did did the Jews kill Muhammad? Yes or no? Did the Jews kill Muhammad? Yes or no? Um, no, they didn't. Well, the hadith in front of me from the mouth of Aisha and the mouth of Muhammad, the Jews killed him. I have the hate in front of me. I have reference. Are you talking about the war in Kaiba where he, where he got poisoned? Yes, yes, he got poisoned. Yes, thank you. So you know about it. <laughs> no, that didn't kill him because that that happened years and years and years and years. And okay, then the that, that means Muhammad is lying. Why, that means Muhammad is lying. Okay, thing. okay. So are you saying to me that Muhammad, when he said, because of the, of, of the poison, I feel my arta is being cut off and then he died right away. Are you saying he was wrong? CP, CP, um, I want to ask you Are you question. saying, don't change topic, are you saying your prophet was wrong when he mentioned this? Because he is the one who said that. I'm not the one who gave the reasoning. He says, because of the food I ate at Khaybar, the poison of Khaybar, now... This is, I feel as if cutting my orta and then he died right away. So, are you saying your prophet he was giving false information about the reason for his death? I'm telling you, the poison didn't kill them. Are you saying your prophet he was wrong? Say it. Because, um, uh, no, he's not wrong. So, that means the poison killed him. CP. Don't send me uh, CP. CP. Don't CP me, me, my friend. Go and do CP somewhere else. Go straight to the topic. Your prophet says, I still feel pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar, which means since then until now. And now I feel as if my order being cut off from that poison and he died. So was your prophet speech, a false speech about the reason of his death or not? Right. I think uh, I think I deserve to ask you a question because you can ask me the question. But after we finish the topic, you call me to talk about this, and now we don't want to talk about it. I know about this topic. So I'm, you don't you don't have the courage to say Muhammad was making false statement. Many people have answered. They, they've answered you, and you. Nobody know this, answered right? me. That's that's false. Prove me wrong. Let me ask you about Christianity. That is a, that is wrong, and that's false. Here we go. You are running away from the answer. Nobody answered me about this. Never, ever, ever anyone dare to answer. And the example is you. It would take you two seconds to answer me. Did your prophet made a false statement when he said this is the reason for him to die? Yes or no? 
Many, many people have answered this. Well, well, people, well, okay, as long as you are repeating this, repeat their answer to me. No problem. Repeat it. Go ahead. I want to ask you some things about You can ask me. Uh, the, uh, our topic is about Hamas and why the Jews killed Muhammad. Why you want to change it? I'm interested in Christianity. Let's I am not interested in making you Christian. Stay as a donkey. Who cares? I want to learn Christianity. No, I, I don't like it. I don't like donkeys to join my belief. Sorry, I don't want somebody to believe that he have God. He will make his so, his penis endless. God. Listen, listen. I don't want you someone like you to go to the church and now you are dreaming about the penis will be endless. Stay in your mosque. We don't want you to get even close to our churches. We don't want you there. You are dangerous. Your penis is dangerous. So listen, focus with me. Did your prophet say the false statement when he said he's dying because of the poison? Yes or no? Um, it did, it did affect him. Yeah, but it didn't actually, it didn't actually. This is another question. Him. This is another question. What affect him? What affect him? Did he say because of the food I ate a Khaybar? Since I ate it until now, I feel now because of that food, it's cutting my aorta. Did he say that? Yes. So did he make an excuse or the reason for death? Yes. So was he wrong? Um, you do know that when the poison happened, he died years and years and years later. After Doesn't the matter. Doesn't matter. He is the one giving the reason, not me. Tell him. Are you saying again that Muhammad is a stupid? He think, okay, hold on. I will go with you. So you are saying to me that Muhammad is so stupid. So he think that a poison he ate many years ago still is going to kill him now. Ha ha ha. Muhammad is a stupid. Just what you are saying to me. I've answered you, so now let's talk about No, you're about not. Are you, did you, are you agreeing now Muhammad is stupid by saying such a statement? Because you no, say I to don't. me, because what you say to me, you don't answer me, you said to me, don't you know that this was many, many years ago? So you are saying this is impossible, it cannot be the poison who ate many years ago. So you are saying your prophet is stupid, he don't have knowledge how poison work, so he is an idiot. Don't listen to Muhammad, listen to me, that's what you are saying to me. I want to know about Jesus Christ and two, listen two, don't three. talk about Jesus we are talking about Muhammad death killed by the Jews and we are celebrating today his birthday so don't change the topic we have the, the we are celebrating the death of Muhammad by poison of rats don't change the topic we have something very important help me understand the Trinity please I want to understand no problem if a person don't understand how his prophet death how I can explain to him the Trinity Listen, do you understand? Do you understand how you okay? I will go with you now. Listen, how your prophet died. I've answered you. No, you are not answering me. I'm asking you how your prophet died. Let's talk about Father, Son, Holy Spirit. No problem. You can talk about it as much as you want. How your prophet died. I've answered you already. No, you did not. I want to know how Muhammad died. Is it, true, is it true that the last thing your prophet he did, he piss? He did not even say shahada. The last thing he did, he asked his wife Aisha to bring a dish. He grabbed his penis, which hardly he can grab. He, it's so small, can't find it. And then he pissed and he died. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet of God? He died such a way. The last word is not shahada. The last word is not a prayer. The last word is not Allah. The last thing he did, he grabbed his penis and he pissed. Is that true? Do you want to call a friend? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm good. You don't want to talk about it. You want to talk about the Trinity. I'm Abdul. I am different. I'm not like other Christians. You can go around. You cannot play with the Christian prince. I will grab you from your tail. And I will put you in the cage. I will give you the shot in your anus. And then you will not remember which one is your anus and which one is your penis. This is what I do with Hamas. I'm not Netanyahu. Here we do real barbecue. How Muhammad died? They don't dare to answer. They don't.
Yeah, it's okay. You have to take a hike. I mean, I cannot say you have to take a bike. Did you see Hamas civilian? Civilian. They are stealing everything, looting. Civilian, they are innocent. The civilians are innocent, brother. The civilians, they are civilians, brother. Those are civilians. They are killing civilians. The civilians, they come in their bicycles. Bicycles. They steal TVs, coffee machine, toilet seat, bidet, toilet papers, canned food. You name it. Civilian, they are civilian. They are civilian, brother. The Israeli are killing civilians. Look, look. The leaders of Hamas are dressing as civilian too. They are civilians. I mean, who can deny that? Nobody. Can you? You cannot. Potatoes. And you know, look at the Jazeera TV. They attack Israel. Do you remember I made a video right away, second day after the attack? I said, today they are saying, Allahu Akbar, tomorrow I will say, please stop, stop, please stop the fire, please. This is exactly what they do. Cease fire, cease fire, please, cease fire. Cease fire, brother. Potatoes. Well, if the Israelis sees fire, that means they are stupid. They should not. They should not. They should finish it. Enough is enough. We have enough with this coward Netanyahu. Always you have to avoid having coward leaders they bring destruction. Our leaders, they protect terrorists like Qatar. This is where all the money of Hamas is coming from. All their leaders are living there, big villas, bodyguards, money like rain. Trump once, he went in the front of the White House and he said Qatar should stop supporting terrorism. Two weeks after, they rented a building from his son-in-law. And since then, Qatar is the friends of Trump. So, how you so, how your prophet die? Let's talk about Trinity. I, and listen, I'm I'm not in the mood today. I, every day I I like different stuff. Today, in my mood is about talking about Muhammad death. <laughs> I've already explained that. And if okay, you I, will, talk, I will go with the Trinity. Do you think God the Father or God the Son or God the Holy Spirit killed Muhammad? Um, let's talk about your concept. Okay, let's no let's problem. I'm talking concept. about it. Here we go. Trinity, do you think God the Father or God the Son or God the Holy Spirit killed Muhammad? I will say Allah took his soul. Okay, guys, did you hear it? Allah, he took the soul of Muhammad. Why Allah killed Muhammad? Because every human being has to die. No, but here you say that Muhammad is struggling and suffering. Why did why did why did Allah took the soul of Ibrahim alayhi salam? No, but this salam. but Abraham was not dying slowly like this and struggling. You are the one who said, look, you are said he 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 took the poison years ago. So since then Muhammad is dying slowly, as you see. Why he was, said, he saw, no no listen was, listen so listen listen. And if you remember the story, the Jewish woman she said to Muhammad, he asked her why you did that. She said, well, if you are a prophet of Allah. Allah will save you. If you are not, you will die. And this is what happened. He Allah, died. Allah did save him. No, he did he not. Did. He will go in front of you. He died. Let's talk. Let's talk about. Trinity. No, listen. Stop, stop you you did, you did lie. You said he saved him, but Muhammad saying he died because of the poison. Stop diverting. Let's not only not only that. Isn't it the Quran says if Muhammad fabricated verses about us, we will cut his orta? Yes, it does say that. All right. Did Muhammad die exactly the same as the Quran promise? And where where is the promise that Allah made of something about the Quran? 
Well, Allah, he said, if he died, he did this, we are going to do this. So, where if, he, where okay, hold do, on. Where did he do it in the Quran? Where? All the Quran, all the Quran, all the Quran, obviously, all the Quran. Listen, listen, okay, hold on. Okay, I, I, will, I will show you where in the Quran, Muhammad, he did this. Okay, I want to ask you, is it, is it true, is it true that Muhammad was a coward? He cannot control his two wives? That's not true. Okay, how many do you need Allah on your side to control your wives? His, the Prophet never abused or this is not a question. This is not a question. Wife. Focus with me. Focus. If you have a fight with your wife, do you mm -hmm. need Allah and the Mujahideen mm -hmm. to join you to control them? I mean, if you have a problem with your wife, yeah, I mean, you can speak to Allah to help you. Yeah, this is another question. If you have a problem with your Allah, do you need Allah and the angels and the Mujahideen to join you against your wife? I mean, yeah, you can you can ask Allah for help, yeah, so that you and your wife can know. Can uh, have you see, you can repeat the same thing. Are you stupid or what? I let me repeat for you. Do you let's need? About, uh, shut up! Shut the, up! You the, see, the, you are ashamed. You are. You you said to me where Muhammad? He said that I'm showing you, and now you don't want to talk about it. Do you need? <laughs> do you need the support of Osama bin Laden and Hamas to help you against your wife? She is five foot tall. Yes or no? Uh, I tell you what, you don't want to talk, do you? Just take care. Let your dad call me. This is Quran from God. The guy, he have two wives. They are not even five foot tall. He could not control them. And then what we do? We fabricate Quran. And what the Quran said? Huh? Eh? Aisha and Hafsa, brother, they are really horrible, brother. They made a, 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 like a party, Democrat, uh, Republican, you know, and they decide to attack Prophet Muhammad by their uh, shoes, brother. <laughs> so Muhammad, he come with a solution. He said, if you don't, repent. Listen, listen. Aisha, Hafsa, Hafsa, listen. I cannot fight against you. I have to. I have. To, I have to confess. I mean, both of you. You have long nails, and you are poor women. Obviously, poor women. To the point, I need an army. Contain who? Listen to this. Chapter sixty-six, verse number four. If you two, between two bracket. Thank you, Muslims, for the bracket. You see, the stupid Quran cannot be read without brackets. This is how clear it is. And the funny is that the Muslims, they say the Quran alone is enough. Mm -hmm. Wives of Prophet Muhammad, namely Aisha and Hafsa, turn in repentance to Allah. It will be better for you, okay? Your heart indeed inclined. They became kuffar. Do you oppose the Prophet? What do they do? They are opposing the Prophet police upon him? Hamas upon him? No way. But if you help one another, what will happen? Look at the threat. Look at the serious threat. <laughs> then verily Allah is his protectors. And Zibril. Is Allah enough? No. We need more help. We, 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 we. Jibreel is coming. Jibreel, are you ready? To support Prophet Muhammad. I'm ready. But this is not Jibreel. This is Ali Dawa. Exactly. And we are proud of it. And the righteous among the believers. <clears throat> Allah and Jibreel and every righteous among the believer to fight the two women. Is that enough? No. And furthermore, all the angels. Who's left? I mean, if you say this, I'm thinking now you are going to fight Israel. If Hamas... They need all of those to fight two women. Hamas is who's the founder of Hamas? Muhammad. Police be upon him. The founder of Hamas, Muhammad, he need all of this to fight two women. What you would do with the Jews? What you will do with the Jews? If two women do this to you, 
I mean, nobody lived. If you read this, you would think this is like the end of the time. The war with Gog and Magog, according to Islam. It's just two women. Who? Allah. Okay, is Allah is enough? No. Actually, this verse proven to us Muhammad is a fraud. Because if Allah on your side, who, 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 who need the rest? What the believers have to do with this? If Allah is in your side, that's it. What the Bible says? If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? I mean to that. If the Lord with me, I do not need an army. If the Lord with me, I'm a winner. Here we go. Muhammad, Lord is with him. It's not enough. And every single righteous believer, like who? Hamas, the thieves, the looters, the pirate. Who else? Jibreel. Is that enough? No. We need, furthermore, all the angels. This is a book from God. Obviously, Muhammad fabricated this just to shut them up. He cannot control them. Isn't it obvious? Two women, Hafsa and Aisha. What do you do? What what Muhammad will do with the iron sting? Did, guys, did you see the iron sting? Man, this iron sting is stinging Hamas everywhere. They just start practicing the iron sting sting just yesterday, I think. The first time they use it for real. So they want to kill your children, and they get upset if we say, "Well, Hamas must be killed." In fact, you know what? If I am not an Arab, and I, I know they will not trust me to go to Israel, I will be happy to go and join them and fight side by side with the Israeli army against the scumbag of Hamas. I don't want to kill Palestinians because Palestinians are not my target. There's many Christians there too. I want to fight those scumbag, the criminals, the killers, the rapists, and I will enjoy it. Many years ago, when the scumbag they attack USA, what I did right away, I took my, I, 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 I put my shoes on. I saw the news. I went to the recruiting center. I joined the army. I'm not a talker. They could not believe it, you know. I mean, usually they, they, they have to explain to you, and you know, this is not easy, and you know, they try to convince you. I said, no, don't, don't explain to me. Give me the papers, give me the papers. Give me the papers. A few days after I was doing the medical examination, the only thing I get upset about, I paid seven dollars to cut my hair. I was really upset. I mean, I am in the army now, and I have to pay for cutting my hair. Can you believe it? Honestly, I don't believe. You see, the, 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 the USA Army, they are not really treated well. I, they send me a paper. They take from your salary socks, underwear. I mean, whatever they give you, they take it from the salary. Anyway, different story. I will take the seven dollars one day when I meet Trump. I'm just waiting for it. If you did not pay it, I will take it from the purse of uh, what his daughter name? Ivanka, Ivanka. There's a Saudi Muslim. He built a mosque in Saudi Arabia. It's called Ivanka Trump Mosque. <laughs> Under a Saudi, he made a video asking for her hand. The woman, she's married. I mean, those people, they are mentally ill. Horny. The whole nation is horny. The woman, she went there. Everybody is next to her. Hey, Ivanka, you want to sit here and talk to show you the Saudi Arabia and the, the, the and those Saudi royal family. Everybody want to talk to Ivanka. Ivanka, do you like to go and show you the capital? You know, I can, uh, I can be your guide. You know, like, what the heck? If you watch the videos, you will die laughing. The whole country is collapsing for a vagina. Sorry to say it. They lost their mind. 
Everybody want to take it. They build the mosque. It's called uh, Vianca Trump. The guy, he made a complex. It's called Vianca Trump complex. The other one, he made a sign in his house. Vianca is welcome. I mean, the, they went crazy. Isn't Muhammad, he says, attack the Roman and get the blondie? Well, she is the blondie. What you can say? Very blondie. Uthman Ibn Kachab will destroy me. Give me his scarf to see if he will destroy me. <laughs> he don't even dare to say hello. <laughs> don't you see all of them? They are mosquitoes. All of them in my present, they are mosquitoes. Give me a scarf of any mosquito you wish. Don't tell me the name. Don't surprise me. And I will call that mosquito and you will see how the mosquitoes will act. You dislike Islam, but not Muslims, they are human. You know, Simiya, I like what you said. You remind me of Buddha. Buddha, he said, he liked fish, but don't he like fishing? What does that mean? You dislike Islam, but not Muslims. Islam is Muslims. Because Islam does not exist without Muslims. So this is hypocrisy and politically correct. It doesn't work here. A Muslim is someone act like Hamas. Kill, rape. Steal and it's justified. You know, you know, dislike Islam, but not Muslims, they are human. <laughs> are you a hippie? Are you a hippie? Hypocrites. Do you like Hamas? They are human, Sue. Sue, do you like Hamas? According to last study, scientific study made by Darwin University, that Hamas are human too. And I heard that they are human, uh, even they are uh, working with the human uh, rights. Yeah, what people, you know, those people. They want to school you about what to like, what to not to like. They are human. Yeah, I discovered something new today. Thank you for telling me. I never thought so. I mean, they are not acting like one. How I know? But now, because of you, I just noticed. Thanks to you. I really appreciate you. Your name is Suze? Oh boy. Change it and make it Suzy. By the way, if Hamas rape your wife, don't hate them. They are human. That's why they have penis. I mean, who rape except a human? A human rape, right? A human. So, if somebody rape your wife, don't hate the rapist. They're human. Yeah, we have to be, you know. Yeah, you know, so, okay. Hmm. Do we have any Abdul would like to join us live on air or dead on air? All right. This guy, he will know what to read. He just left Islam. Any Mohammedan? What is my favorite animal? Muhammad. Police be upon him. I don't know. Everyone have his own choice. Jesus, he preached peace and love. We'll go school your prophet before you tell me about Jesus. Why you don't tell that your prophet? Did your prophet preach uh, love and peace? When Hamas, they caught what your prophet said, kill the Jews wherever you find them, cut their heads. If a Jew hide behind a tree, the tree will scream and say, there's a Jew behind me, kill him. So a Muslim, is, you know, he school you about what Jesus said. Look, Muslims, he want to tell you, like, shame on you, Christian friends. Jesus, preach peace and love. My friend, you have wrong information. Jesus said, 
that the one who kill must be killed. I'm serious. And that what we will do to Hamas. We will make them shish kebab. Those scumbags. According to now the news, every one hour, 50 members of Hamas is being killed. Every one hour. How many hours we have a day? Use your calculator. Yeah, a Muslim is calling us about peace. Well, tell Hamas when they were raping, you know, tell your prophet. When he raped Sophia, the Jewish woman, he took her from her husband and her family. Hmm? This is what your prophet did to the Jews. And not only that, after he killed them, even he robbed their graveyards. Even the graveyards. Do we have any Mohammedan? If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are not new, don't forget to unsubscribe. So next time I can remind you to subscribe again. Remember, we are the Arab, we are the smartest between mankind. In fact, you know, just to remind you, who is the one discover Australia? The Arab. My people. Shakespeare is an Arab. His real name is Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, who is the one who discovered the first computer? The Arab. Specifically Hamas. What happened is that the guy who discovered the computer, he was going to build it, but by mistake, a suicide belt he was wearing explode. And when the explosion happened, the computer fly all the way to America. The American, they took it, they took it pieces. Like, what the heck is that? Coming in San Francisco. Oh, they thought it's an alien thing. They took it, they studied it, and they make a, like a copycat like it. And this is since then, the American, they claim that they are the one who discovered the internet. Who is the first one who discovered the internet? Prophet Muhammad. How do you know that? Prophet Muhammad, he have connection with Allah. How? He have a cable, his name is Zibreel. But this Zibreel, he have a problem. The connection go lost if there is a dog in the house. This is why Prophet Muhammad, he said, the house have a dog or a picture, angels cannot enter. And you know what? When first time I get the internet, it was DSL. And I tried to, you know, like, I don't know if you remember the DSL, you know, calling, and it's not working. But then I remember what the Prophet said. Man, I have a picture in the house. So I threw it away, and right away I got disconnected. I connected. True story, by the way. Hmm. Not all Arab Muslims. You mean Arab Muslims, right? Well, I am an Arab. My my friend, what's wrong with you? Me myself, I'm an Arab. This is why I don't show myself in the camera. I want. I don't want to scare the hell off you. Because real Arab, they don't look really friendly. I go in the elevator. I say good morning. Nobody answer. What the heck? I say good afternoon. Nobody answer. I ask a woman to marry me. She said, "Why? There's no men left." What the heck? No respect for human rights. What I can say? Do we have any Mohammedan? You know, always when you speak the truth, they try to frame you about Arab, about Islamophobia. What is Islamophobia? This is a religion of terrorists. Have we find any terrorist group can find reasoning to be terrorist except in Islam? As an example, we heard about the KKK. Can we find the base of the KKK in the Bible? No. Can we find a reason for anyone to be Christian and to hate the black people? No. Impossible. In Islam, yes. This is the religion of the white supremacist Arab. Muhammad, he made fun of the look of the Asian, made fun of the look of the black. And not only that, he made it clear that when Allah created Adam, he hit Adam in his shoulder. 
right shoulder and from the right shoulder the white of spring came and Allah he said to the white of spring you go to heaven and I don't care and then he hit the left shoulder of Adam and from there black of spring came like black ants like circle and Allah said you go to hell and I don't care Ila Jahannam wala ubali. It is reality. We have the reference. We have the reference. This is what Muhammad said. It's authentic. A true Christian cannot be a racist. A true Christian cannot be a rapist. A true Christian cannot be even a liar. A true Muslim is a rapist. A true Muslim is Hamas. A true Muslim is ISIS. A true Muslim is Al Qaeda. This is the truth. And you know, all those who they are doing politics. None of them is saying the truth. The problem is not Hamas. The problem is the faith of Islam. The problem is not Hamas. It is Islam. They keep lying and lying and lying. Nobody want to say what is really the problem. The problem is not Al-Qaeda. It's not ISIS. It's not Muslim Brotherhood. It's not Hamas. It is the faith of Muhammad. It is the faith of the Quran. If I type right now the word terror, terror in the Quran, what I will find? Muhammad, he said, I've been victorious by terror. Islam used terror as a way for victory. We scare the hell of them. They convert to Islam. That is the truth. It's not what those doing politics they say to you. What what Netanyahu? What is the previous one before him says? Islam Prophet Muhammad never taught, never taught anti-Semitism, never taught killing a bunch of liars. This is what they said in the United Nations. My friend, I am not really about Islam taking over the earth because Islam is not one religion. Muslims, they kill each other all the time. So I assure you that Muslims will kill each other. Like now, I will tell you what will happen in Gaza. You want to hear what, what, I, what will happen? Guys, you want to hear? What will happen now? What is next? After the Israeli take Gaza back, and finish Hamas and blah 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 what will happen what will happen is very simple those Mohammedan they always kill each other when I say always I mean always so what they will do is very simple they will bring the enemy of Hamas to control Gaza They will bring Palestinian, who they are the enemy of Hamas. Who are they, those people? The terrorist group of Yasser Arafat. ISIS was fighting with Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda was fighting of Hizb ut Tahrir. Hizb ut Tahrir was fighting against the Turkmenistan Brigade. Turkmenistan Brigade was fighting against the Muslim Brotherhood. Muslim Brotherhood was fighting against the Alawi. Alawi, they were fighting against blah, 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 blah. This is what Islam is about. They will never take over anything. But they will do what bugs do. They will kill. 
they will terrify the world and they will not let you live in peace especially you are allowing them to take over by immigration and then you will see all the garbage they have there is going to come to you wherever you are just yesterday a Jewish woman she is in charge of a synagogue. She was stabbed in Detroit. Cowards. Who is in Detroit will do it? An Arab Christian? Huh? Who is going to do it? Why they kill the women? Because they are cowards. She's a Jew. And they are religion of peace. When a Muslim was killed, if you remember, Biden, he spoke about it. We are against hate crimes. Oh, I go mute now, silence, you know. And then we found the second Muslim get killed, third Muslim get killed, four. Four Muslims killed in one month. They made big noise about it, big news, hate crime, and then it turned to be what? A Muslim guy killing them because of a woman. Five men fighting over a woman. He found out that she is sleeping with the first one. Then he found out she sleep with the second one. Then he killed the second one. He found out she sleeping with the third one. He killed the third one. He found out that she sleeping with the third, fourth one. He killed the fourth one. Hate a crime. And this, you know, this is not accepted in our country, etc. We Christian, we don't do that. And we will never hurt Muslims. We will never hurt a Muslim. Why will we hurt a Muslim? Anything happened to them, they blame hate, but they are the one who teach hate and practice hate. Did you see the guy, he's just making fun of the death of a child of David Wood? This is how evil they are. He was warning me, if you don't repent, Allah will kill you the same as Allah killed the child of David Wood. Very evil people. Do you see it? They rejoice for sadness. They rejoice for the pain of somebody else. Well, Muhammad's sons, they die, all of them, potato. All of them. Look like Allah was punishing Muhammad by making his children die one after one. We don't hate Muslims. We don't want to hate anyone. We are Christians. God bless those who spread peace. But my friends, peace will not happen by people who give hugs. Peace will happen when we stop and fight against the bugs. Peace will happen when the evil one see that you are strong. Then he will behave. The second he notices weakness of you, he will be in your home. And this is what happened in Israel. They relax, they went to sleep, they were doing party. The bugs come and the bugs start killing their children. This is why the Bible says, be vigilant, be smart and be ready.
the Lord, he said, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. But not to go and kill with it, but to protect yourself. We the Christians, we are not cowards. We love peace, yes. But we will not love a coward man or a coward woman. Even God will not love you for being that. A man who watch a rapist raping someone, he is a rapist too. And this is why we should support Israel against the crimes of Muhammad and the faith of so-called Hamas. So I am an Arab and I support Israel. I'm not taking side. I'm standing what is right against what is wrong. As simple as that. I want to say thank you for being here. Join us, tell your friends about our channel, subscribe, and until I see you again, we pray for peace, but peace of justice, not peace of the cowards. For peace of the cowards will bring more unjust. No peace if there is no just. No peace if life is not fair. No peace if we have a criminals are free, looting our streets, raping our kids. Peace is not a gift. It is something you fight for. And the one who can establish peace is warriors, not the hugs givers. The warriors who protect borders, protect houses, protect nations, not a bunch of cowards. And I will see you soon again. May the Lord bless you. And God is good, so is Jesus.